Hi, welcome back to Flash CS5. And as a tutorial request by a student of mine that uh, wants to see how to create an animation uh, that plays in the beginning or elsewhere in the Flash user interface that we've built in the previous movie. Uh, this is an example with a stretched out timeline. I will also make an example uh, with the one frame. So let's look at this one first. I'm going to control enter and show you what it's um, doing right now. So we can go to any of the three screens at this point. The way it's coded is we have a timeline here and uh, there's um, one screen and there's two and three and each one is a little bit different and we're basically on the action script we're telling the, play, telling the play how to go and jump from one script to another and uh, the code was that and please view one of the previous movies on how to set this up properly. Okay. Now the um, request was on how do you create an animation at place before all of this even is shown. And there are several ways of doing that, um, just as usual, you know, we have a lot of different ways to accomplish a task. I'm going to show you one of those ways. I'm going to create a animation layer right underneath the labels, and I'm going to call it animation. And on the animation layer, I'm actually going to lock everything and just unlock the animation layer so I don't accidentally put it anywhere else I'm going to create my animation well first of all I don't know what the animation is going to be yet and I'm going to just create a blank movie clip so command F8 or control F8 to create a new symbol I'm going to name this animation and it's going to be a movie clip I'm going to hit OK Alright, so here's our blank symbol animation. Right now it is not on the scene anywhere. All we can find it is only in the library. Okay, so we're going to go back to scene 1, open up the library, find that animation, and put that on our stage right there. And now you have a keyframe, and that's your blank movie clip, the registration point. Now to set it up exactly in the top left corner, what you need to do is hit Ctrl or Command I, uh, get your info tab, and tell it to go to zero zero, which is a better way than trying to you know use guides or a line or anything. It's right there, the zero zero, and uh, Ctrl I to hide that. So now we have it set up. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna double click inside of it. Now sometimes it's going to be rather hard to double click inside of that movie, like I'm in it right now, but sometimes students say, I can't click on it, it's so little. Uh, a different way of getting inside that animation at this point would be going through here or double clicking on it in the library. Okay. Uh, the reason I like to go in via this method is I can still see the stage behind it and that tells me how I want to set up my animation. I'm gonna <clears throat> start out with, uh, let's say, a background, you know, something fades in or slides in or something. So I'm gonna create a rectangle, and again, we're gonna use the info tab to make sure the rectangle is exactly the size that we need. So I'm gonna preview the it's document size, Control J, 550 by 400, so that would be the exact size of this thing, Control I, 550. I was pretty close, but not close enough. Okay, and then this one needs to be at zero, and that's already at zero. So now this is precisely this stage size. Uh, we're going to probably do this. We're just gonna have it slide and you know move into one line and disappear. So I'm gonna go into frame 40, let's say, and hit F6. I'm gonna create a very simple shape twin. On frame 40, I'm going to leave just one little thin line. Let's make it really thin, like so. And now that we have a shape on the first frame and the shape on the uh, frame 40, we can right click in between them and create a shape twin, which will create this animation. It is not finished yet, but here's what you have so far if you preview it. 
you're just gonna keep looping like so so obviously we need to throw a couple more things in there to uh, have the thing finish not loop and go to the first screen so right now I'm gonna go ahead and add an action script layer here so this is the actual shape twin so animation action script layer gonna be right here AS3 now action script I'm gonna put in at the very end let's say F6 right here however if I leave it at the very end I'm still left with this little line so I'm actually gonna step one frame past the tween and right here I'm gonna hit F9 and type in stop So that tells the animation to stop, it's not going to be looping. And the fact that this frame is right after the tween is finished, there's nothing going on on the stage at this point on frame 41. We can preview and you will see that it goes in and it's gone and now you're free to roam you know, the rest of the user interface. So that's one of the ways to do that. All right. I'm going to make a video again on how to do that, but this is a very simple way. Please let me know if you have questions or other requests. Thank you.